Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide. Let me show you how can you earn up to 133 atoms this week. Possibly the easiest week ever is this one. I have no memory of having such easy weekly challenges to do in two or three months at least. Anyway, I will be showing you how to get up to 133 atoms for these week's challenges. And that includes every single challenge except the Hunter and Hunted one, because no one really queues up for that. So unless I go with pre-mates, a group of friends and everyone queues up at the same time, it's quite impossible to do it. Anyway, let's get into the weekly challenges. As usual, let's start with the easiest one, which is claiming the workshop hamlock holes maintenance. It's on the very northwest of the map, right at the heart of the Toxic Valley. Anyway, teleport to Vault 76 for a free ride and then head to one of the nearby locations of this workshop. Now, if it is contested, I suggest you to go here to this corner because if there are any turrets, they won't be able to reach you at all. It's a small trick and it really works. Then all you have to do is wait for the workshop to be claimed and you will get your free atoms. It is as easy as that and this is a weekly challenge. Every week it's a new workshop and this week it's not any different. Next, we have a challenge that I did while doing all the other challenges. It includes getting two silo codes from Scorched Officers. Now, I found my first one here at the Lost Home while getting footage for another video. I randomly found this officer and I remembered that the weekly challenges had just reset and one of them was to collect silo codes so i collected it don't forget to pick it up otherwise it will not count as obvious so this is when i started tracking this uh, challenge and the second one i got it here at relay clay's bunker this is a very known location for silo codes there is usually an officer around this part but don't forget that they are always on the move and there is no static location to find an officer you might have to walk and search several locations to find the two silo codes good luck to you the third weekly challenge here is probably the most difficult one because you need a cultist outfit or a tinfoil hat which was given for free some weeks ago. If you didn't get it, that's fine. Head here to the Lucky Hall Mine where you'll be able to find and get your cultist outfit as well as the hat. The way is pretty much straightforward. You don't have to uh, think much about it. You need to unlock this door, it's a skill to lock and then you have to go straight until you find this altar and there is something here that you will want to pick which is a key right there in this furniture thing. You can unlock the box, the green one right in front of me if you want, there's some um junk and steam packs then you will have to head to the right and again head straight as much as possible until you meet this yellow thing and again another door that will be locked but you need to use the key that you previously picked up keep going forward until you find this interception here and you need to go towards this tunnel with the bush it's kind of hidden but this is where you want to go to access a somewhat secret room where you can find the cultist outfit in this container right there. It's called Ritual Bindings. I already have it, so I didn't need to pick it up. And then the helmet is here on top of these machines. Don't forget to equip the outfit and then we can start killing cryptids. 
I started to go here at Hawks Refugee because there is usually a Wendigo at the top room. I skipped everything else, I just went for that room. It's up here, the stairs, and the Wendigo was right there for me to kill it. Then I found the event Free Range and I decided to give it a try because you need to give or do the final blow for it to count. I was extremely lucky here. So remember, when you don't finish the creature, it will probably not count towards your challenge. I needed three more, so I decided to head to the Charleston Capitol building right here in the water. There is a Grafton spawn and luckily enough, he was here for me. And that's another one for my challenge progress. Now you need to keep heading west, just straight ahead. And you will eventually find two snaily gasters. You can use your VATS system to track them down if you don't see them straight away. The first one was there and the second is a little bit ahead. And that's about it. It is quite easy, isn't it? Next, we have a challenge that is really boring to do, but it's not difficult at all. You only have to craft or scrap clothing, armor or weapons, and you should head to a place with a lot of enemies and a few workbenches. And I thought, is there anything better than West Tech? Hmm. Probably not. So I came here, I started killing everything that I saw and I went with a somewhat empty inventory to collect all the weapons that they drop. So make sure to do this because we need 50 scraps. Yes, it will take a little bit, but it's not long enough to last the entire run. It's like off and a little bit more, at least for me. And again inside, I started killing everything and collecting their weapons. Then the first workbench is right here below the platform. And as you can see, all the weapons I have collected from the outside yard and now this first part of the facility, it's basically all of the challenge done. Then all you have to do is keep going forward to the main room where you can find tons of enemies again. And there is also a workbench here, a chemistry one, right in the middle of this room. So feel free to kill everything, collect their weapons once again, and then finish up with scrapping everything you have in your inventory that can be scrapped, of course. And moving on to the last part of the facility in the locked room, you can also find a chemistry bench here in the bottom floor. It's not on the first one, it's on the zero floor. And you only have to scrap a few more weapons, the ones you are missing, and that's pretty much it. Enjoy your free 30 atoms. Now we have the easiest survival mode challenge I have ever done in my Fallout 76 life. And you basically have to kill four different types of robots. I suggest you to head to Watauga and then log in into survival. You can also teleport there to the station, but it's a quick way from adventure. Anyway, you want to start by killing a Protecton. There are dozens of them in Watauga, so it shouldn't be difficult for you to find one, really. Just go ahead and start going towards the Asaltron location, which is basically in the southwest of Watauga. As you can see, I found the one Protecton on my way, and the Asaltron should be around there in the walls. They are like protecting the city. There are usually two here, but one of them was down, but I found the other. And that's pretty much all we need from this part. Then head to the shopping plaza area, where you can usually find a Mr. Gutsy. He was here, out of the city for some reason, but that works. Then head to the wet spring station. You can go here to the main buildings, where you will want to kill a sentry bot. I know they are friendly and everything, but you can still attack them. And this is the easiest and quickest way to find and kill a sentry bot. 
Then, don't forget to run away because Apocalypse is launching on you. All the robots will be starting to shoot at you. That's not pretty, so get the hell out of there. I bet you were like, that's it? Yes, that's everything you have to do in survival mode to get the three star legendary weekly weapon. This time is the mechanic's best friend. It's a melee weapon with 40% more power every attack with one strength and 30% damage towards robots. It's decent, especially if you are starting the game, but it's nothing impressive. Once again, I have way better weapons and I'm just going to scrip it or to sell it for some caps. But hey, it's really not a bad weapon. It just it doesn't have attack speed and the damage itself, it's really not that high. So personally, I don't like it. I have better weapons, so why would I use this one? But to let me know what you think about this weapon in the comment section below. And that's everything I have for you guys regarding the weekly challenges. It really feels to me like Bethesda is getting a little bit lazy or wants to welcome you players by providing really easy challenges. Compared to three months ago, for example, things are really, really easy. I hope they don't decrease the difficulty even more. Otherwise, you can pretty much do the weekly challenges in like 30 minutes. Actually, it took me less than an hour to do all of these challenges, excluding, of course, the one I already told you, the Hunter Hunted one, because I can never find people to do it. I could probably do it if I ask people on Discord, but it's still a little bit bothersome to do that. Anyway, I am Marta Branco. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guide and I will see you very soon. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy the content, feel free to hit the subscribe button to get notified when I publish new videos. Also, I have a Patreon page, so check it if you would like to support me even further. I will see you guys very soon. Take care. Adios. Bye-bye.